sets its feet off. He's starting his red side as expected. Thank you, Choo Choo, for the follow. I appreciate it. I'm 90% sure at least Fiddle started top because his bot lane was in lane as the minions crashed, which tends to mean he didn't get a leash, and odds are if Fiddle was starting bot, he'd get a leash. So, yeah, he probably still is either doing the... I think that's the side of the map where you can still double camp, because there's one side of the map where you can still double camp as Fiddle, but it's very finicky. Could be wrong. Either way, he probably started his chickens or his red. Oh yeah, I'm just full clearing instead. Although, if I did level 3 clear, I could just go kill a Lowie right now. But I chose full clear, so here we are. It's one of those things, again, why I don't really like full clearing. is because there's almost always a level 3 gank or invade you can get off. And because Kindred's level 3 is still strong, even with the nerfs, it's really valuable. Bro, I'm not running out of Relio at the level 2 level 3 cast. I'm sorry, but nah. He has a freeze. Bro, you... Yeah, he's put his wave in the bad spot. Okay. We are not we are yeah, I gotta go to mid so I can't even full clear like I wanted to. He put his wave in a bad spot because he last hit bad. I have to help him push this. This will hurt. Okay, at least I got a good amount of XP from that, but I would have preferred to have my level 4 for crab and things, but he's coming with me either way. Yeah, so it forces her to reset the wave at least. I'm not going to use my smite on this if I can avoid it, so I can go back to farming. What do all stories have in common, dear wolf? The last 28 CS, so yeah, he full cleared, plus he got the crab on that side. So, um, here's the thing. Since, since people want me to explain things more often. It all started red side, which means his, around this time is when his uh, camps are going to start respawning. Which means soon, not yet, soon his chickens are going to respawn because he went to Krug second. Uh, his chickens are going to be first to respawn. Both crabs are dead. I killed one, he killed one. It means the chickens are going to mark as soon as they spawn. Issue is, he's right here. See, there's also the chicken mark here. As I said. It's process of elimination. Oh crap. Uh, friendo. Okay, I still get it. Alright, she's chasing me too. I don't know if her flash is still up. I don't, uh, I genuinely don't know. Get the W field there too. Okay, I will. But he lives too. And because it's process of elimination and he knows camps are starting to spawn, his Gromp's still not alive yet. I don't know the exact timing on how, like, if he alternated his path or anything. But, um, also, I'm gonna do another crit build because I'm just gonna keep doing random things today. Uh, so I'm gonna do Storm Razor. Don't ask why, don't know, feel like doing it. I have no solid reason other than I just feel like doing it. Why did he not back? I burned my flash! And he... Fine, it's fine. We're not gonna get angry at him. So, okay, so the Gromp is alive. The Scuttle's not. Gromp marks. He goes kills Gromp. Scuttle's gonna respawn. Odds are Scuttle's gonna die um, before it marks, though, because he's gonna be at his Gromp, so he's also gonna go down and go to bot and things. So, odds are the next mark that I can get that's not off of a champion is probably gonna be his chickens again, because, again, the realistic chance of him not killing his Gromp and going straight to Scuttle is pretty small. Alright, maybe he didn't go to his Gromp though, I don't know. Milio just warded right here. Oh no, he didn't, he just came to check. Oh, there's Fiddle. Fiddle, you cannot 1v1 me. I hope you understand. Even if you try to give me the suck, you cannot 1v1 a Kindred. At level 4.
Okay, Ash backed. I could still die to Aurelia. Again, I don't know if her flash is up. Those who dread us, dread us the most power. Okay. Yeah, likely case scenario, this is going, that's going. Odds are, the, uh, the again, the next mark most likely is going to be the uh, chickens again. Unless he doesn't kill crab, but I feel like there's a decent chance he's going to kill crab. How long will we be so, snowball your lead. I mean, okay, pretty much a thing to... Except is again, you're gonna have the sheepy kindred players who have a hard on for all the marks, and they're gonna say no matter what, you have to go for your marks. That's not true. At the end of the day, your marks are a bonus. Having four marks is really, really nice because the fourth mark gives you a massive buff. No other mark in the game gives you nearly the same amount. The uh, the extra 75 auto range from the fourth mark is huge. But at the end of the day, it's always most important to make sure you're farming and getting gold because at the end of the day, items and XP is always going to be the most valuable thing you can get on a champ like Kindred because you're still a scaling marksman. Get marks when you can, but realistically, if you're so if you're get, like whole teams behind and you're behind, odds are you're going to lose because that's just the, everybody's behind. But if you're in a decent spot, don't give up your advantage by trying to forcefully like force ganks and things that you can't do. Instead, spend your time getting gold and XP off of like the camps and stuff. Keep getting XP, keep yourself even in the game until you as a scaling marksman scale and get the XP and items you need. That's the best way to scale, because you need to spend your time getting the golden XP. Chen, don't walk forward, Chen, she's in her ult! Ah! Okay, it's fine. He, wa he got really aggro there. We can actually bait her here. I wanted Shen to come forward. She can't kill. Yeah, she can't kill. Okay, well, she can kill him. I didn't want to ult on top of her, though, because if I ult on top of her, it's really bad. I have to go here. I have to get this mark while I can because it's free. But yeah, it's one of those things where a lot of people think that, like, a lot of people who play Kindred played Kindred back when they first came out, and Kindred's passive used to be different. It was always marks, but the marks used to do different things. They don't do the same thing at all now that they used to do. So something a lot of people don't understand is that, say I have seven marks, but I'm 0-5, and, and I'm at half an item, and uh, obviously half an item is an exaggeration, but you get the point. And I'm really behind, I'm like three levels of XP behind, but I have seven marks, but you know, I'm 0 and 5 and I'm two and a half items behind the enemy jungler. That's cool that I have 600 range and all. Um, the fuck am I going to do if they're two and a half items up on me and I'm 0 and 5? And three levels down. You know? Because people think that marks give you like this insane amount of damage, but marks don't give you very much damage anymore like they used to. They used to give a like they used to give your passive every um, auto percent current health damage. That's what old kindred passive was. Yeah, that's not how it works anymore. But people are like fixated and think you need the marks no matter what. And it's like you're fine with the low number of marks and not having extra range as long as you have items. There's already so many short range and melee ADCs and stuff in the game. It's fine. But if you don't have items and gold, well then good luck. Have fun. Wish you the best. You do you. I think I can still kill her here because I saw a hole. Maybe not though if we're inside of her ult. No, I should have flashed. Does Shen have the damage? Oh, she has flash though. Does Shen have the damage? I don't think Shen kills her. Oh no. Okay, he does. That was really not good. As soon as the arrow missed, they needed to not commit. Just, like once the arrow missed, it was a guaranteed failure of a play. An ally has been slain. An enemy has been slain. They know will come. Yet they are never prepared.
Tomorrow is a hope. Never a promise. I didn't mean to all chat it, but oh well. Like, I love people like this Ash, though. You missed your ult. You lost a 3v3, not a 3v2. I, we, we killed top lane. I got Herald. I'm the strongest player on our team right now, but it's my fault. Like, bro. What kind of drugs are you on? Like, Fiddle's even right there in mid, not even in bot right now. So if they die in bot, they're going to bitch about it. But it's like, yeah. Your next treat, dear wolf. No match for us. Few. And you need to be confident, Kindred? Well, yeah, I mean, to be fair, you're playing a carry champion. You need to be confident no matter what you're doing on a carry champion. If you're not confident on the carry, why are you playing a carry, you know? If, you're, if you want to carry, you have to be confident to carry. Or else the carry champ's not for you. And I don't mean that to be toxic, that's just the honest truth, is if you're not confident to, if you don't want, if you can't be confident in carry, you can't carry. One of the worst things you can do is play a carry, but not be confident in your mechanics or being able to win, so then you get an advantage, then do nothing with your advantage, and you lose. And if you don't know how to do damage in team fights and stuff like Kindred, it's really just positioning and target um, prioritization. And also, depending on which build you do, which again, the on-hit build is much better. You shouldn't be doing crit builds like I'm doing. I'm just doing them because I'm bored. But um, depending on which build you're doing, the obviously what you're good at killing is going to be different. What okay, am I doing this game? I guess I'll go IE. Why not? Not really worth doing IE, but yeah, I'm gonna grab an extra long sword while I'm at it too. Your turret has been destroyed. I wonder how they see me. I'm gonna push probably not. Besides when can you ever plug it? Yeah, you're gonna have to play more, especially if you're an echo player. I mean literally the champions work two different ways. I'm dead. By the way. I don't have my ult, there's no way I can get away from Aurelia. Oh, oh Fiddle almost was able to steal the kill. I didn't want to give the shutdown to Aurelia. But there's no way I can it. Our main issue this game though is between the fact that I mean Aurelia is fed and she's annoying and I'm not doing an optimal build and the fact that uh Alawi is Alawi, we are gonna struggle a bit with that. But it's fine, they ended it. 
Bro, you're dead. Stop hitting my fucking soul with your tentacles. Don't fuck me in death. Alright, maybe I am mentally Shut fucked up, down. huh? You know what? I'm not even gonna sprint down there. I'm gonna just grab my mark. Oh, Is he still surviving? Although, can I really fight this? I genuinely don't know. Oh, well, I mean, if she misses her taunt, yeah. Or not her taunt, her dad. Or stun. It's a stun. I know what it is. Mm-hmm. Damn, I got no because of the silence. Sad. <laughs> Lucian got away with like one. All right, I got Milio. I'm okay with that. A fine life reaches. Its I'm chill conclusion. unless you're one of those people who like. What's the word for one of those people who like you is attention seeky and then one of the people who just lacks common sense, in which case, then I'm an asshole. I'll be honest, I'm an asshole to people who don't Your team has people who throw off my vibe. That's the word for it. If you throw off my vibe, then uh, I tend to be an asshole, being completely honest there. This is a really bad fight. Did I get feared and then, yeah. Silence, all right. So I should be able to kill Lucian, but I still die, yeah, the fiddle. I think Cash should have honestly like back and TP to Drake, but what can he do? That Nami bubble was clutch. Alright, see ya. We'll have a good time. The work and weave of fate guide. The Heinz is back on! Honestly, I will say Stormazer into IE doesn't feel awful. As long as you just don't do IE like first. Although I kind of still feel like IE feels bad second item because it just doesn't feel like it does as much as other mythics because it really doesn't because it's still RNG based. But could be worse. Where are we going to force this? I don't think we should force this, but screw it. What's the worst that happens? We die. I don't think it's a good idea, but we'll manage. Probably won't. But I do get a mark off of it if we get it, which is always cool too. Actually, have the minions then, but realistically, we're so far ahead at that point. 
Unless we pick a really bad fight and get fiddled and lose, I don't think we can lose this game. Although, you know, I probably jinxed it. That, that's an easy way to close out the game as they do that. Yep. Your team has destroyed a turret. Your team has destroyed a turret. A summoner has disconnected. Is Navori still playable on Kindred? Navori is never good on Kindred. The way Kindred's cooldowns work, Navori doesn't benefit, and IE does more damage because the only ability that actually you use for damage is your E, and E is an auto attack, so you get the IE multiplier. Navori has never been good on Kindred. IE has always been better. There you go, there's damage. The third most in the game, which is pretty decent. Okay, we take those. I guess again, if I upload this because I need VODs for like the next few days, uh, like, comment, sub, all that jazz.